welcome to my YouTube channel, The Concepts of ICT. In the previous session, we discussed about the logic gates, and there we discussed, I gave you an introduction to logic gates, and then I explained what are the basic logic gates. And in this lesson, we are going to learn about the combinational logic gates. Okay. As the name itself states, a combination logic gate is a combination of two or more basic logic gates. There are four combination logic gates that we are going to discuss about. They are NAND, NOR, XO and XNO. Those are the four combination logic gates that we are going to use in our circuits. So the symbols of these logic gates are I show you. The symbol of NAND gate is almost similar to the AND gate because it's the combination of the two basic logic gates, NOT and AND. The name itself, NAND. So it shows that NOT AND. It is the combination of the NAND gate. So the no gate, not O, that is the combination of the no gate. It comprises of the two gates, not and O. So the symbol of the no gate also is almost similar to the O gate. The only difference in these both these gates to the basic and and O gate are only the this circle at the edge of the symbol. So, the symbol of XO gate is, it also is almost similar to the O gate, but there are two lines here. And XNO then. So, that is the symbol of XNO gate. You can simply say the combination of the basic logic gates in uh, creating this XO and XNO. I'll explain it later. So, let's make the expression of these gates through the combinations so this is the combination which makes the NAND gate the functionality of the NAND gate so the output of this AND gate will be as the inputs are A and B the output will be A dot B hope you can remember them and when that A dot B goes through the NOT gate when it is an input to the NOT gate the output of that NOT gate will be A dot B bar. So that will be the output of the whole NAND gate. Now let's see the functionality of NOR gate. So it is the combination of O and NOT gates. So the output of this O gate will be A plus B. And it will be an input to the NOT gate, which will generate A plus B bar. So that will be the equivalent output of this NOT gate. Okay, this shows the combination of the XO gate. It has two NOT gates two AND gates and a single O gate. So the inputs to this AND gate will be A and B which goes through the NOT gate which will generate a B bar. So the inputs here will be A and B bar. So this AND gate will generate an output as A dot B bar. And when we consider this AND gate, the input will be, it will get an A which will go through the NOT gate and a bar will be an input to this AND gate and the other input will be B. So the output of this AND gate will be A bar dot B. So those two will become an input to this OR gate, A dot B bar and a bar dot B.
So the output of this OR gate will be A dot B bar plus A bar dot B. That will be the output of this X OR gate. Now we'll move on to X low gate. So simply this is the combination of the X no gate. All that XO will go through the not gate. So here the output was A dot B bar plus A bar dot B and that will be an input to this not gate which will generate plus A bar dot B all bar. So that will be the output of this X no gate. Okay, so now let's create the truth tables for all these gates. When 0, 0 is input to an AND gate, that will generate a 0. So when that goes through a NOT gate, it will be 1. So the output of the NAND gate, when the inputs are 0 and 0, it will generate a 1. When the inputs are 0 and 1 to an AND gate, it will generate 0 simply and when it goes through the NOT gate, it will be 1 again. 1 and 0 will be the same, the output will be 1. And when you input 1 and 1, what will be the output of the AND gate? It will 1. And when that goes through the NOT gate, it will again become 0. So that is the truth table of the NAND gate. Simply, when it is 1 and 1, it will be 0. On all the other occasions, the output will be 1. Hope you can remember the concept of truth tables. Otherwise, if you can't remember or if you don't know, please go and watch my previous video on logic gates where I explained you the truth concept of truth table. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's consider the NOR gate now. When you input 0 and 0, what will be the output of O gate? It will simply generate a 0. And when it goes through the NOR gate, it will become 1. So when you input 0 and 1, the output of O gate will be 1. And when that goes through the NOR gate, it will be 0. When the inputs are 1 and 0, again it will be 1 at O gate and when it goes to the NOT gate, it will be 0. 1 and 1, the same result. It's, it will generate 1 at O gate and at the NOT gate, it will be 0. When you consider X O gate, simply when the inputs are similar, the output will be 0. If the in inputs are dissimilar, it will generate an, a 1 at the output. That is the simple explanation of the truth table for an XO gate. But that is not the exact thing. Uh, the better one is, the better explanation is, when you have an odd number of 1s in the input, that will generate 1 as the output in XO gate. So here, uh, as there are no ones in this input combination, the first one zero zero, the output will be simply zero. Zero one. So number of ones is one in the second combination zero and one. So the that will generate the output one as the output team x o. One zero, the same result. One one one. So there are two ones which will be an even number, so that will generate a zero as the output. So in XO gate, the output was one when the number of ones in the input are an odd number. So in X node, the output will be one when the number of ones in the input are not an odd number. You can simply say uh, when our number of inputs are 
keep on because at the first combination there are no ones. So that is for an even number. So simply say when the number of ones are not odd, you get one as the output. So zero and zero, it will generate one. Zero one, there's one in uh, the combination, so the output will be zero. Being zero and one at the end as there are two ones which will be an even number, not one. So that is all about the combination logic gates. So we discussed that there are four combination logic gates, simply NAND, NO, XO and XNO. And we discussed the uh, functionality, the combination, the simple combination of the basic logic gates and we generated the expression for each logic gate and at last we created the truth table for each of these logic gates. So that is all about this lesson, the combinational logic is. And in the next lesson, we are going to learn about Boolean algebraic laws, which we are going to use in simplifying the expressions. So thanks for watching. Hope you learned everything about the combinational logic gates. Thanks again. Please subscribe for more videos on concepts of ICT. Thank you.